1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Asma Hafiz. First, the headlines. In Balochistan, 23 passengers were killed in a terrorist attack on a bus in district Musakhel this morning. President and Prime Minister have expressed Pakistan's unwavering commitment to eradicate menace of terrorism from the country. National Assembly will meet at Parliament House in Islamabad today. Expressing concern over arms exports to Israel, Indian lawyers have accused New Delhi government of facilitating genocide in Palestine. And now the news in detail. 23 passengers travelling in a bus were killed when terrorists opened fire on them in district Musakhel this morning. Strongly condemning the incident, Chief Minister Mir Sarfraz Bukti sought report of the incident from law enforcement agencies. In Balochistan, terrorists have also carried out cowardly attacks at several other places. Security forces and law enforcement agencies responded effectively to these attacks. Twelve terrorists have so far been killed and many others are injured. The operation will continue until the terrorists are eliminated. President Asif Ali Zardari and Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif have strongly condemned the terrorist attack on a passenger bus in Musakhel area of Balochistan, expressing grief and sorrow over the loss of precious lives in the despicable incident. They prayed for the departed souls and condoled with the bereaved families. President Asif Ali Zardari said the brutal killing of innocent people is the killing of the entire humanity. He said the terrorists are the enemies of Pakistan and humanity. The president said those involved in the killing of innocent people must be brought to justice. The prime minister directed the local administration to provide full cooperation to the bereaved families and provide immediate medical aid to the injured. The prime minister directed the law enforcement agencies to immediately investigate the incident. He said the terrorists responsible for this incident will be severely punished. Shahbaz Sharif said any kind of terrorism is not acceptable in the country. Both the President and the Prime Minister expressed Pakistan's unwavering commitment to eradicate the menace of terrorism. National Assembly will meet at the Parliament House in Islamabad today at 5 in the evening. Meanwhile, session of Senate will be held in Islamabad at 5 p.m. tomorrow. Both the Houses will discuss matters of national importance besides transacting legislative business. The Chehlam of Hazrat Imam Hussain and his devoted companions is being observed today with religious reference to remember this supreme sacrifice for cause of Islam. Morning processions are being taken out in various cities and towns across the country to pay homage to martyrs of Karbala. Additional measures have been taken for security of processions. The 25th edition of Pakistan's largest IT and telecom expo, ITCN Asia, will begin at Expo Center Karachi tomorrow. The three-day event is aimed to facilitate investors and entrepreneurs from the IT industry to make Pakistan an emerging tech hub in the world. The exhibition is expected to attract investments worth over $500 million. 750 leading global and local companies are participating in the event. Human Rights Watch has called on the International Criminal Court to investigate Israel's military for the custodial torture of Palestinian doctors, nurses and paramedics. In a statement, Acting Middle East Director at Human Rights Watch, Bilkis Jara, said the torture and other ill-treatment of health workers should be thoroughly investigated and appropriately punished, including by the International Criminal Court. Indian lawyers have expressed concern over India's arms exports to Israel. Indian Supreme Court lawyer Prashant Bhushan in his remarks said it is clear that Israel is committing genocide in Palestine and that India is facilitating this genocide. The Indian lawyers said India has no need to export weapons of war. Supreme Court lawyer advocate Chandar Uday Singh demanded India to immediately stop arms exports to Israel. 
National Disaster Management Authority has issued an alert of more rains and thunder showers in Punjab, Sindh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Azad, Jammu and Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan from today till Thursday. According to an NDMA statement, heavy rainfall may trigger landslides in hilly areas and high flows in local nalas and river tribute could also increase during the forecast period. And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official.